So you look at all these combinations of in and out, okay, and now how would the fundamental curve, I'm just trying to speculate, it doesn't have to be an exact thing. How would the fundamentals look if you applied the goodness or the badness of the fundamentals on that chart? Fundamentals would lag. Again, efficient market theory. Everybody knows the good, good news, okay? Nobody can make money on that situation, okay? So the fundamentals most likely would be, oh, this is coming from up, remember, okay? And this could be a few years or a few months, okay? Fundamentals would be something like that. Okay? A little bit laggy. That's why the market is a discounting mechanism. That's why all these internal forces of those who get the news or the tips or the banker who knew that chairman of the board and the plans was calling the VP of finance, VP of marketing, ta 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 ta, let's push, let's acquire this company, and the whole fundamentals improve, but the price has discounted that whole move, or a big part of it. Okay? Now, accumulation, up phase, distribution, down phase. Now, talked about that, these are the trends. When to buy, and when to sell, I didn't get to that point yet. I'm starting with the trend, and the trend is your friend. All right. Okay. Good. Always remember that. Okay, you are with the right trend, with the right flow. Okay, you'll survive, even if you buy a little bit on a blip, even if you buy on an up day, a big extended position. Still, as long as you are with the trend, you have some kind of indication that it will go still higher could go your way, you will not lose. The problem will come on one of these blips. You say, oops, it's starting now, the reverse trend. Okay? And you get in, you ride it low. A lot of people buy on decline. It's a very wise strategy. But you buy on decline with the trend intact, up. Okay? How can you determine, locate the trend? Give me just one more minute. I'll get to that. 